What a... What a... What a move by a Rosemary! Whoa! Hey, yo, everybody. How you doing? So, I want to talk about the Eagles and the trades that didn't happen. I want to also talk about what the hell they're doing because I kind of don't understand it. Okay, I got to be honest. Now, there's things I like and there's things I don't like. All right, but if we go back to the beginning of the offseason, they had Peters, Kelsey, Kendricks, even Curry. They had these guys that were making a lot of money and none of them had really a viable future with the Eagles past the upcoming season. You go into the draft, you don't move any of them to move up a slot or two, and people seem to be okay with this. I'm not, okay? Because let me tell you, what are we doing? If we're building for the future, if we're building for the future, which is what people say when they say, we got Sidney Jones because we're building for the future, it's all about the future. Oh yeah, it's about the future? Then why is Peters on the team still? Why is Kelsey? They're not going to be here more than one year. So if they're really, if it's really for the future, they would have been gone. You would have had all that cap space. You would have either been able to bring in somebody for other positions like corner who were younger that would be here longer. But they didn't do that. See, I think the Eagles are playing both sides of the fence. They are kind of, I don't believe they have some huge plan to build this whole thing up. I think that plan ended at Carson Wentz once they got him. Their plan was to build for the future, but they got caught up in getting all Sean, getting Tory Smith, getting all these one-year deal guys, and then they thought if they can keep their players that they got for just one more year, they'll make a run maybe, or maybe they'll get to the playoffs, and we're back to the, let's get to the playoffs, and then anything can happen. I hate that. That don't work. Not unless you have the right players, like if you're Aaron Rodgers, sure it works. If you're Ben Roethlisberger, sure it works. But if you're Carson Wentz in the second year, I don't think it's going to work. And I don't think he has enough talent around him for it to work. So what I'm saying is, is what are we doing? Are we building for the future or are we building for next year? And if you say we're doing both, I say it don't work. You can't do both. You can't do both effectively. Okay? I don't believe it. You're going to have to do one or the other. 18 players, 18 players all can walk next year. That's a lot of turnover. Why? I don't understand. Why would you keep Peters when you're going to move Lane to left tackle when the time comes? Why Why would you do it in his third year? In Wentz's third year of his rookie quarterback friendly contract, you're going to move Lane to left tackle. And then he's going to spend his third year with a new left tackle. Why not do it this year and get it over with? You know what I mean? Why not? Look, I don't care if you get Sidney Jones. I'm fine with that. All right? But if you're going to get Sidney Jones and build for the future, let's be consistent with that build for the future. Let's not try to sneak in things for next year only. Or you're building for next year, then go get Mixon, go get Cook, and go all in, in next year. But do one or the other, but don't do both. And this whole optionality thing, I hate the word optionality. To me, optionality means we don't know what we're doing and it's a crock. Optionality to me means that this team is non-committal to what they want to do. So they're leaving everything open, but they have no real plan. That's how I see it. I can't see it any other way. And to say that we're signing all these one-year guys so we can get compensatory picks so that we can have more players in the future because Baltimore did it. Baltimore had Ozzie Newsom and he could pick players. We have no track record that the Eagles can pick players. Even with Joe Douglas, this is only his first year here. So we don't, to say that we're gonna build our team with compensatory picks is crazy to me. It's crazy. It's one or the other. You build it for the future or you building for next year. I think this team is playing both sides of the of the dial, and I think that's a mistake. Now, you want to get Alshon for one, you want to get Troy Smith for one, you're fine. But but keeping Kelsey, keeping uh, Peters, keeping Kendricks, I'm I'm shocked. I said I said oh, well maybe they keep them because they're going to trade them draft day. I thought that's what I thought, but it didn't happen. So they're really going to go in with these guys for one more year only. 
it, you know, and then you may say, well, we have less holes now because we have receivers signed and all this, but when those guys leave, you're going to create new holes, and you're going to have the same problem just in different positions. So, it's one thing that I'm concerned about, one thing I don't like what they're doing, and we're going to see how this plays out. Talk to you later.